Welcome to the update. I'm Eleanor Quirk. Police have swooped on another neo-Nazi gathering in Sydney. It's the second time in as many days the far-right group's been broken up after the riot squad surrounded a North Shore scout hall where the group were gathered. Ringleader Thomas Sewell was served with another public safety order a day after he led a group of 60 balaclava-clad men on a train on Australia Day. Premier Chris Minns says he will consider banning the Nazi salute. Last year or the year prior to that, in a bipartisan fashion, both major political parties came together to outlaw the swastika in New South Wales. I would consider going even further in relation to law changes to keep community safety and harmony on our streets. Australia has joined the United States and several other countries in suspending funding to the main UN agency operating in Gaza. The agency revealed it sacked a number of employees, accusing them of being involved in Hamas attacks on October 7. The Israeli Prime Minister's senior advisor, Mark Rejev, says the accusations are based on material distributed by Hamas groups online. There have been war criminals in the past who have hidden their war crimes or tried to hide their war crimes while Hamas uh, went live on, on, on social media and posted a lot of the material. So you actually see the faces and uh, the people involved in a lot of the crimes. North Queensland residents are being warned they could be without power for up to a week. It comes after Cyclone Kiralee tore down hundreds of trees and power lines. Premier Stephen Miles says backup has been called in to help restore power as quickly as possible. We've just seen off up to 600 energy workers who are out there trying to get as many houses reconnected to the energy network just as quickly as we possibly can. They've already done a great job reconnecting about 18,000 households, but 48,000 households remain without power. And former TV presenter Basil Zemplers has denied his apparent sexist gaffe was referring to women's tennis. The prospective WA Liberal candidate made the comments to a reporter at the start of a media conference. Tennis is on tonight, isn't it? Uh, yeah, the female final. Yes, sir. it's a reserves game then. <laughs> He's taken to social media to address the backlash, claiming that he was referring to presenting the news at the same time a big sporting event was on. Sport and entertainment are next. To sport and Arena Sabalenka has won her second Australian Open crown. It took just 76 minutes for Sabalenka to beat China's Zheng Xinwen 6-3-6-2. Aussie Matt Ebden and Indian partner Rohan Bapana took out the men's doubles crown. I love playing here. It's been my favourite tournament forever. I'll keep coming back forever. Thank you. To entertainment and ticketless Taylor Swift fans have been warned to stay away from her concerts. Around 15,000 fans are expected to gather outside her Sydney shows, hoping to soak up the atmosphere and enjoy the stadium sounds. But Venues for New South Wales has warned only fans with tickets should enter the precinct. Meanwhile, Travis Kelsey's dad has admitted he didn't know who the pop superstar was when they first met. Ed Kelsey telling podcast The Fan in Cleveland that it was an embarrassing moment. Taylor walks in with a security and I look at her and as I look at her I said oh my god I don't know I know this kid but I don't know what her name is jeez you know like a real idiot you don't know her this is this is Taylor Swift you idiot and that's the latest from the Nova podcast team we'll see you again soon for another episode of The Update